Hi, I'm Joe Mitchell with the Dubois Fire Department. I'm sorry we can't be with you today. I'm sure we don't have to tell you guys that things are a little different this year. Even though we won't be coming to see you in person, your neighborhood fire departments feel it's our duty to still deliver a fire prevention message to you. Ten of your local fire departments got together to make a video to remind you of fire prevention, safety, and dialing 911. Hi, I'm Darren Scalise, Fire Chief of the Reynoldsville Fire Department. Our topic this year for fire prevention is kitchen fire safety. In the following video, we're going to show you the dangers of a kitchen fire and what to do and what also not to do. In this first demonstration, we're going to show you how to extinguish a fire with the lid. First off, you need to turn the gas off to that fire. Once you do that, safely put the lid on top of the fire to help extinguish the fire and snuff it out. You can also extinguish the fire with baking soda. Throwing water on the fire will not put the fire out. It will actually make the fire worse. Please do not throw water on a kitchen fire. My name is Dana Smith and I'm the deputy chief of one of the Sandy Township Fire Companies, Oklahoma Civilian Defense Fire Company. Hi, my name is David Maven and I'm with the North Point Volunteer Fire Company here to talk to you about candles and open flames. Now candles can pose a great risk to your house and to your property. First and foremost, the single most important thing, you shouldn't be lighting candles. Only an adult should light a candle. Keep them far away from things that can catch fire by a minimum of at least two feet. Candles should never be put where there are hanging things such as drapes or towels. Never leave a candle inside a room that you're not in. When you are done using a candle, the candle should be covered if it's in a glass jar. If it's just freestanding, you should wait at least 10 minutes after extinguishing the candle before you leave the room. Candles should never be used in things like tree houses and tents. Your family will appreciate that extra layer of safety of you looking out for them. So this holiday season, make sure that as you light those candles, you blow them out before you leave the room. Always remember, if you do have a fire, dial 911. Hi, Russ Perks, Brady Township Fire Chief. Remember to turn your clocks backwards and also remember to change your smoke detector batteries and check them on a regular basis. My name is Mike Hoskovich and I'm the Fire Chief of the Brockway Volunteer Hose Company. I'd like to tell you why it's important to know your escape routes. This helps you get out of your house faster and more safely. And also, it is a good tip to keep your bedroom doors closed while you're sleeping at night. This helps slow the spread of flames and the spread of toxic smoke and gases. This will help you breathe much, much easier so you can escape from your home in the event of an emergency. My name is Chad Guilano. I'm the Fire Chief for Horton Township Volunteer Fire Department, and I want to talk to you for a few minutes about having a meeting place. A meeting place is some place you're going to go if you have an emergency like a fire at your house. Um, it could be anywhere in your backyard, your front yard, a tree, like a neighbor's house, a play set, anything that you can get to easy. Practice this to make sure that you can get there. Practice it in the dark because it's not always going to be daylight when you have an emergency. So this is very important. Make sure everybody in your family knows where that meeting place is and just continue to practice it. This is Keith Bailey. I'm the fire chief out in Union Township. And uh, one thing we wanted to get to you today was uh, to remember once you're out, to stay out. If you remember, get out, stay out. So if there's ever a fire at your home or anywhere you're staying, once you get out, remember, do not go back in for anything. Thank you. Hi kids, I'm Mike Amrick, Deputy Chief of the Sykesville Volunteer Fire Department with your safety tip. If your clothes catch on fire, don't forget to stop, drop, and roll. Hi, I'm Firefighter Ben Kaftan with Sandy Hood Company Number 1 in Dubois. Hi, I'm John Hollowell, Assistant Chief at the Adrian Sandy Fire Company. It's important kids that if you find anything that looks like this and can do anything like this that you find an adult a parent a grandparent 
or any close adult and tell them it's important not to touch anything like this. In the event you find lighter matches, please do not play with them. Let an adult know and they are for adult use only. Anything you find that may look dangerous, always tell an adult. Hi, I'm Matt Agosti from the Penfold Volunteer Fire Department. Today, we're going to talk about how to exit your building in case of a fire emergency. When you wake up in the middle of the night and hear the smoke alarm going off, get out of your bed and get as low to the ground as possible. You want to crawl over to your door while staying low and fill the door with the back of your hand. When you fill the door with the back of your hand, you're checking for heat. Get the door closed to keep all the fire, flames, and smoke out of your room. Then you want to continue to the second exit possible. I love you, I love you. Oh, my God. 